Okay, let's be honest here. When was the last time you or I have ever done a spring cleaning through our applications folder? Because sometimes I just be downloading cool things that I see online, a cool new app, I download it, maybe use it once or twice, thought it was pretty cool, and then just never use it again. Because in all honesty, I do that all the time. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some quick tips on how to properly delete apps off of our Mac. And if you want, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more pro Mac tips. All right, so the main reason we would start deleting apps off of our Mac in the first place is that they might be just taking up too much of our storage space. So let's go check that out first. Open up system settings, click general, then go to storage. And once your Mac finishes calculating everything, click the little eye icon next to the applications. You'll now see all your installed apps sorted by size. From this little menu, you can select any of the applications that you don't use anymore and simply hit delete. You would think that it would be just as straightforward as deleting a file off of our Mac, right? But unfortunately, that's just not how it works. Because unfortunately, how you delete an app is dependent on what the app is itself. There are some lightweight apps out there, maybe on our computers right now that, you know, we used once or twice and when we delete it, it doesn't have that many leftover files. But there are some gargantuan programs that we have on our Mac like Adobe products, Microsoft products, Google Chrome. Those things leave so much leftover files behind that if we just simply delete it from that window or if you throw that icon into the trash bin, it doesn't actually do anything. In fact, it might cause more problems than good. So this may all sound very messy, intimidating, and cumbersome, but there is a program called Clean My Mac that could really make this whole thing very, very easy. But if you prefer the manual approach to deleting apps and the leftover files with it, then I will share the manual approach with you after this. So with Clean My Mac, it thoroughly scans my Mac and I'll be able to manage all of my applications from uninstalling them, updating them, and even removing app leftover files. This program also groups the apps I rarely use to let me navigate through my app library better. Honestly, this program makes uninstalling apps and cleaning out the leftover junk files so much easier than if I were to do it myself. And if you want, there's a download link in the description box below to start a seven day free trial. And I highly recommend this program. So if you stuck around this long and you want to learn the manual approach of deleting apps and the leftover files with it, let's start with this. Go to applications and find the app that you would like to delete. Some applications out there come with their own native uninstaller. So you can't just drag the icon and throw it to the trash can and empty it. You can actually use its built-in uninstaller. For example, Adobe Lightroom has its own uninstaller that will get rid of the app and all of its leftover files. And if your app has an uninstaller, it's usually in the same folder as the app itself. If the app that you are trying to delete does not have a native uninstaller, you will have to drag the icon to the trash and then go through this very long step process. Now you have to manually delete all the app related data to that app you just threw in the garbage through these commands that I'm showing here on the screen right now. There are a lot that you will have to go through and search up with that application's name and you will have to carefully delete them. So open up Finder, click go, and then go to folder and enter any one of those commands and hit return. Browse through the folders and look for the file that contains the app or developer name. If you've deleted the app, there's no need for these files lying around in your library, so it's safe to remove them. Now, what if you want to delete an app and it just really isn't deleting for some weird reason? If the app is open, right click on the icon and hit force quit, then go to your applications folder, find the app and press command I to open the info window. Scroll down to sharing and permissions and make sure you have read and write access for a user account. And if you still can't delete it, there's a chance that this app is pre-installed on your Mac and it's not intended to be deleted. So you can't do anything about that. And that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment down below on difficulties that you have with deleting apps, and maybe you could help somebody out who is watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips.